Hi, my name is Zevin and welcome to a video by City Sophisticate. If you have been here before, welcome back. And if you have just found my channel in this video, welcome. So this video is the second in a series of the spring summer how to dress for various body shapes. And prior to this, I did create two videos about the various body shapes and how to determine yours and the overall guidelines for dressing each and I will leave those videos linked in the description box below. So just to start us off, I will recap the four main body shapes. Um, and this video will be focusing on the apple body shape or the inverted triangle. So let's go over the four main body shapes. The first is the rectangle. And with the rectangle, the shoulders, the bust, the waist and the hips are roughly equal proportion. The second is the apple or the inverted triangle. And with this body shape, the shoulders and the upper torso tend to be broader than the hips and the lower body. Uh, the difference being really between the inverted triangle and the apple is that the apple body shape uh, tends to gain weight around the midsection. And I'll show these differences along the way, okay? And then the third is the pear body shape. With the pear body shape, uh, the shoulders are narrower than the hips and the body shape has a defined waistline. And lastly, the hourglass. So with the hourglass body shape, the shoulders and the hips are roughly equal in proportion with a defined waist. So let's begin with three universal guidelines for dressing any body shape. And the first thing to remember is that body shape is not based particularly on weight. It is more defined by the proportion of your shoulders, your bust, your waist, and your hips. And trying to balance these proportions between your upper and lower body. The second thing to keep in mind is drawing the eye through the use of line. And in line, I mean a couple of different things. One I mean is the actual silhouette or the outline of the outfit that you're wearing and does it look balanced and in proportion uh, with respect to your body shape. And the second is to use lines and the actual design of the garment. So use vertical lines, use curved lines to draw the eye and accentuate your figure the way that would be most optimal for your body shape. So the third aspect to keep in mind is color and pattern. So the eye is naturally drawn to lighter and brighter colors. And so darker colors uh, sort of diminish aspects of your body that you may not to want to call attention to. And then the use of pattern also does the same thing. It draws the eye. However, when you use all over pattern on an outfit, it sort of confuses the eye and the eye doesn't necessarily focus in any one place. And so that can also be used to your advantage to not draw attention to any particular part of your body that you may not want to call it to. So before I go into the actual tips on how to dress the apple or inverted triangle body shapes, I do want to ask you to stay until the end of the video where I will be sharing some bonus tips on what to avoid for this body shape. So let's talk about the three aspects of dressing an apple or an inverted body shape. So the first is that this body shape tends to have a fuller bust line and really amazing arms and legs. And so you may want to show off or highlight these aspects of your body. The second is that you want to create definition around the waist. And the third is to add volume to the lower part of your body so that you have a more balanced proportion between the upper and lower aspects of your body. So let's start off with tops. So with these body shapes, the apple and the inverted triangle, what you would like to do is to accentuate your shoulders, your neckline, your bust line in a tasteful way and where possible, accentuate or define your waistline. So I'll be showing you examples and I will be linking the items in the description box below if you are interested in looking at these items. So the first is this lovely red top and let's focus on the aspects of it that make it a good fit for an apple or an inverted uh, triangle body shape. So first of all, you've got a really nice neckline. The, the V basically brings the eye inward and cuts the expansive fabric across the chest area so that it gives it a little bit more of an elongated look. And then the actual silhouette or cut of the blouse actually comes in slightly and then comes out a little bit at the waistline. And it has that little bit of detail that provides that waistline definition, but also a little bit of room so that if you are that apple body shape, you have a comfortable area around the midsection without it being too clingy. 
The second example is this beautiful broderie anglaise blouse, which is beautiful for the spring and summer. And it has the V neckline, the open neckline. And then it also has a flowy uh, drape to it, which is perfect for uh, the apple body shape. And what I would recommend with this type of blouse is that you tuck it in so that you are creating that definition around the waistline. And then the beautiful sleeves do accentuate the arms. This next example is similar to the previous, but in this one, the arms are exposed. So if you do want to highlight your arms in this way, uh, a beautiful short sleeve blouse with a flutter shoulder is a perfect way to do that. And again, as I was mentioning, having sort of an open neckline um, really sort of elongates the body and um, cuts the broadness across the upper part of your torso. And then again, with this type of a blouse, because it is sort of a looser, flowier fit, uh, the recommendation for the apple and the inverted body, uh, inverted triangle body shape is to tuck it in. And the last example is more fitted to the body. So structured knits are really a great way for an apple body shape or an inverted triangle body shape to accentuate the bust line, the neckline. And this example is uh, really great in a couple of ways. Number one, it's got the thicker straps and it's got a lovely neckline that accentuates that area of your body. And the structure of the knit actually holds in um, the midsection. So for an apple body shape, um, a thicker knit is definitely the way to go. And this beautiful color is just perfect for spring and summer. So let's move on to bottoms. And in this category, I will be covering pants, shorts, and skirts. So essentially leading from our previous conversation, um, the apple and the inverted triangle body shape have a narrower hip and uh, a smaller lower body in proportion to the upper body. So really the things that you wanna do is number one, accentuate the waistline where possible and flaunt your legs. And number two is to create some volume so that you do have that balance between the upper and the lower body. So in terms of the style of pants and shorts, for example, um, flared trousers or straight leg trousers add that volume. And if you have a streamlined silhouette down to the floor, it really does help to elongate your legs. The other uh, features to look for are a belted waistline, uh, which add that definition to the waist and avoiding anything like a skinny leg because that will make your lower half look even uh, smaller in proportion to the upper half. So let's look at our first example, these high-waisted wide leg twill pants. And so basically the waist definition is perfect for the apple and inverted triangle. And then the wider leg um, adds volume to the lower half and balances out the proportions. So this next trouser also has waist definition and then a small pleat at the waist, which provides a little bit of room, particularly for the apple body shape for the midsection. It's really important with pleats uh, not to go with a style that is uh, heavily pleated. That will just emphasize the midsection area. And then the nice straight leg um, going down um, adds that length to the silhouette. So this next example is a tie waist belt pair of trousers and the tie waist adds that waist definition and then there is a little bit of room in the upper part of the trousers and then they just uh, sort of loosely flow down the leg to add that volume to the lower half of the body. And then lastly this boot cut pair of jeans is the perfect way to accent the apple in the inverted triangle body. It has a high waist for the waist definition. And then the classic boot cut just adds that uh, length and volume to the lower part of the body. So when looking at shorts, look for something that has a more A-line silhouette and that has some visual detail or interest that brings the eye down to the lower part of the body. So these embroidered shorts in this beautiful caramel color are perfect for the Avalon inverted triangle. They have the waist detail, the tie belt at the waist accentuates the waistline and it has the nice A-line shape to it. And then the embroidery at the lower hem brings the eye downwards and creates that visual interest. These next shorts, again, are a lovely example of shorts that would be perfect for the apple and inverted triangle with the uh, tie waist and the paper bag design and the longer length. 
Now this particular outfit I think is a great example of an outfit that would be wonderful for an inverted triangle. So the top itself um, is a fitted top and the attention with the design really brings the eye to the decolletage area. It has a horizontal stripe which an inverted triangle uh, can definitely carry off. And then the long line vest just really elongates the silhouette. So moving on to skirts, essentially the same guidelines do apply. So in terms of the actual silhouette, an A-line or a gently pleated flowing skirt or a straight line that isn't too tight on the body are generally good silhouettes to go with. And in terms of length, anything sort of from the knee down to the mid-calf um, is generally optimal. So this skirt is a perfect addition to any spring summer wardrobe with the beautiful light airy feel of it and it has a gently body skimming upper half and then it flares out at the bottom just to add that additional volume to the lower half of the body. This skirt is a really easy going laid back uh, skirt perfect for the spring and summer as well. So it has a drawstring waistband and then just a gentle flow down the body and it has a slit so that creates that elongating um, aspect because the eye is sort of drawn vertically up and down. Now let's talk about dresses. So the same guidelines apply. Look for dresses that accentuate the neckline and the bust line and bring the eye inwards and elongate and at the same time have waist definition and then add some volume to the bottom half of the body. So this first dress is perfect for an apple-shaped body. It has a square neckline, which brings the attention up to the upper part of the body with the lovely puffed sleeves as well. And then it is cinched in right under the bust line. This is called an empire cut or an ampere cut. And it really elongates the lower part of the body then the dress sort of gently flows down the body and it has a slit. So again, creating that vertical line and that illusion of length. So this next floral shirt dress is another good option for an apple or inverted triangle. So the button down style of it allows you to open a couple of buttons, thus opening up the collar area and creating that illusion of length and bringing the eye inward. Um, then you have a tie which provides some waist definition and then it gently flows out to the bottom which creates that volume on the bottom part of the body. And then the overall print of the florals really does, as I said earlier, confuse the eye so it's not particularly focusing on one particular area and that is a great way to uh, deflect attention away from areas that you don't want uh, to call attention to. So this next dress is probably one of my absolute favorites for an apple or inverted triangle body shape. So it has the vertical line elements in the design and that really elongates and bring the eye inward and vertical, especially with the black thick line down the center. It also has that V neckline which opens up the neckline and brings attention to the collar and the decolletage area. The tie waist uh, adds that waist definition and then it gently flows out towards the bottom and really creates that illusion of volume and length. This dress is perfect if you have an occasion this summer, whether it's a garden party or a wedding. It's really pretty, it's a beautiful color and it's perfect for an apple or inverted triangle shape. So first of all, it has that beautiful deep V-cut neckline down the decolletage area. It has uh, the straps which are wide enough to provide support. And that has the ampere or empire waistline, uh, which really accentuates the smallest part of the torso and then gently flares out. And this particular dress has pockets. And who doesn't love a pocket? Next, let's talk about swimwear. And this category I will split up between the apple and the inverted triangle. And just to refresh your memory, with the apple body shape, um, the body shape tends to gain weight around the midsection. So I'm going to provide a couple of examples for the apple body shape first, followed by the inverted triangle. So for an apple body shape, the body shape would benefit from swimwear that has uh, structured and broad straps to provide uh, support for the bust, um, support for the midsection, um, and has some flattering lower details uh, that show off the lower part of the body and flaunt the uh, legs as well. 
This first one-piece swimsuit is in a gorgeous turquoise color and it has the good thick strap at the shoulders to provide the support for the bust line and it has the gold accent details that brings the eye upward. Then it has this great ruching detail across the midsection to provide that support and camouflage for that area of the body and it's just basically a lovely piece for an apple-shaped body. The next piece is a tankini and it can be mixed and matched with different bottoms. What I love about this particular top, this tankini, is that it's got the lovely tortoise shell detail right at the bust line which accentuates the bust line and that neck and decolletage area. And then it has ruching around the midsection to provide support. And then that can be matched with this beautiful high-waisted bottom that has some design detail and draws the eye downward towards the narrower part of the body. Now let's talk about swimwear for the inverted triangle. This body shape tends to be a little bit more athletic looking and the best way to uh, wear a swimsuit with this body type is to accentuate the decolletage area so that it brings the eye inward and then wear brighter or interesting detailed bottoms that also um, bring the eye downward to the bottom of your body which tends to be narrower. So this bikini is really beautiful and perfect for an inverted triangle. So it has the uh, thicker straps which really provides the support for the bust area and it has the lovely floral detail on the bottom so that it brings um, the eye downward and creates that visual interest. So I really love this mix and match uh, bikini set and what I love for the inverted triangle body is that first of all it has sort of the vertical design elements on the top which are really elongating and then it has the broad V neckline which brings the eye inwards and add interest to the decolletage area. And then you have this pop of color with the yellow bikini bottoms and the tie strings on each side that create that shapelier hip area and add that proportion to the lower part of the body to balance it with the upper half of the body. So this is a lovely one piece option for an inverted triangle. It has the lovely knot detail at the bust area and it really creates that visual interest around the neckline and the decolletage. It has a small cutout uh, right at the midsection which an inverted triangle can easily carry off. And then it has that beautiful printed detail on the bottom, which adds volume and interest to the bottom half of the body. So as promised, here we are at the bonus tip section in terms of what to avoid if you are an apple shape or an inverted triangle body shape. So the first one is about straps, like shoulder straps. And here the intent is to avoid spaghetti straps or very narrow straps because they tend to make the shoulder appear broader. So really the best thing is to go for wider straps that proportionately make the shoulders look smaller. The next two tips go hand in hand. And the first is to avoid tops that don't have waist definition or if they are longer tops, making sure that you tuck them into your um, bottom uh, half of your outfit so it creates that waist definition. Otherwise, what ends up happening is that you tend to look more top heavy. And then the converse to that is on the bottom half to avoid wearing, uh, where possible, skinny jeans or tightly fitted skirts as they tend to make the bottom part of your body look even narrower. So as mentioned before, the idea really is, is to have balance and proportion between the upper and lower parts of your body. So if you are an apple or inverted triangle body shape, I hope that you found this video interesting and informative and that it gave you some ideas about what to wear for spring and summer. And as mentioned, this is part of a video series on the four main body shapes and how to dress them for spring and summer. And I will be leaving all of the videos linked in the description box below, as well as the clothing items that I uh, showed you throughout the video. So if you have any questions about any of the different body shapes, you can actually leave me a comment in the description box below and I will uh, go through and send you a response. In addition, I also do provide virtual and in-person personal styling as appropriate to the environment and my contact details are in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and perhaps share it with other people that you think uh, might benefit from it or find it interesting. And if you would consider subscribing to my channel and turning on the notification bell, I would appreciate that and you would be notified whenever I upload a new video. 
And last but not least, you can also find me on Instagram and you can find me at Zevin City Sophisticate. Thank you so much for joining me today and have a great day.